Let's get our competitive juices flowing a little bit. Let's kind of get our motor run a little bit. Let's get out of that mode. Let's get our, get our bus going a little bit and, and get up and compete against each other today. Everybody good? Yes, sir. Demetrius, good breakdown. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go, Let's go Demetrius. Let's go. Yeah. Crew's ready. Two. Earn that check. Baby. Woo. Spring football is important every year. It's a little more so this year just because of the fact that we lost lost 25 seniors. And we lost 25 seniors that all uh, played a significant role in what we did this last year. Go in, square shoulder, right here. Go in, square shoulder, sit on that thing. One more, one more, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. This is a time where we're just coming off our off-season strength and conditioning. Uh, they're in good shape, they're in good physical shape. It's time for them to get out there and play the game now. And uh, it's important for us to be able to evaluate them on a daily basis. And that'll redirect him up the field. That's what you're trying to do. Okay? You don't want him to push you back in there. But take his inside number away so that you've got leverage and the only place he's got to go is going to be up the field. All right? You just really want to see, you know, great effort from them every day. And there's not enough time here uh, for, for anybody to take a day off. We have to have great effort every day. Just to be back out there is great. Uh, lifting, you know, it's, it's fun to get strong, but to put the pads back on, get a feel for what you're actually going to be doing in the fall, that's, that's been real great. It's a lot of fun. I mean, you work all winter, you're, you're lifting weights every single day, so there's a time where you know, you're ready to get back out on the field, put the pads on, get the football movements back. Very, very excited. Putting the pads on is what you play the game for. You, know, you just want to go hit someone. <laughs> Pretty much it's, it's like a full-time job. Wake up early in the morning, we lift. And then you have to watch film. When we wake up early in the morning, we run. You're doing football-related things probably half or a little bit less than half the day. When we wake up early in the morning and we practice. The whole team has to buy in to what the coaches are preaching. Coach Rampey is always about this play. You know, it doesn't matter what happened last play, or it doesn't matter what's gonna happen the next play. It's all about this play. If our players will buy into what our coaches are doing and understand it's it's one practice at a time, and then we've gotta take one game at a time, and you have to take every single play and learn from it. No. We have one of the greatest stadiums in the country. We have one of the most historic and prominent programs in the country. Our students and faculty and then obviously the community are, are really bought into what's going on here at Pittsburgh State University. The support is amazing. Uh, just to see how many people are in the stands each game, like all, every time. It's, it's not like sometimes we have a drop off, it's every game. The greatest feeling running out on the field in front of you know 11,000 people just screaming their heads off. Or you're uh, you're out there on defense and you can barely yell out a play call because they're so loud. You really think about what, what does that term guerrilla nation mean and it you see it here in Pittsburgh, Kansas on a Saturday. The support that we get to me is second to none. You have not just one double A schools, but you have division one schools as well. They're just like wow. You know, uh, everywhere you look in town, there's always a split face. There's always go gorillas. Um, just to play inside of that, it's it's D1 level to be honest with you, and it's it's phenomenal. I don't know of any team in Division Two that enjoys a better hometown advantage than the Pittsburgh State University gorillas. It is something to be admired. <laughs>